Hey everybody, this is a video of my custom Lego Kipo minifigure from the TV show, if you can believe it or not. Kipo, in the Age of the Wonder Beast. It is a show on Netflix that I found pretty pretty early on to my quarantine adventures. I don't I don't know much about it other than the show. I think the show is good. I don't venture to the fan base, just like I don't venture to the fan bases of anything for the same reason. I do not wish my eyes, eyes to, to burn. burn. It is a good show. I like the design, so I figured I would try to make a figure on it. Let's get into it. So while I rotate this thing later with the power of editing, I'm going to explain how this thing was made, or <laughs> or how I remember this thing was made because I made it in March, which is a few months ago. And I want to give you guys some some backstory, some lore on how this thing came to came to be. All right, okay. all the things went wrong <laughs> with the making of this figure. So I'm going to get into that right about now. So first off, what I started was okay. I do it with all my figures and. I pray to God, and I Google search uh, whatever character's name is into Google Images to see if I can find some reference material. And I did exactly that, but the problem is <laughs> everything looked different. There was turnarounds that looked not like the show at all. There were different like design iterations, so I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to go find stills of the TV show on my laptop, you know, whatever. So. Turns out, you know that thing that happens where your computer screen could be darker or lighter depending on how you how you turn it. Well, I may have been looking at pic screenshots from the computer when it was turned down, and um. Uh oh. So yeah, I literally had to redo the entire thing, except for the <laughs> except for the pants, merely because I was too much of an idiot to not realized that the screen was tilted too far and that it looked darker than it really was. Alright, not my proudest big brain moment, but it is what it is. The part of that that really infuriated me though, was I had to do the head over again. And by far, making this head was quite possibly one of the most challenging uh, custom minifigure journeys of mine that I've ever done. Because when you make a normal minifigure head, like, let me, let me go forage for a second. Like, oh, look, normal minifigure head. All you have to do is add some paint for, for weird eyebrows. All right, cool, got it. Oh, look, this figure, you have to make a different color, but it's still fine because all you have to do is paint over the, the, the base head lightly. That's cool. But this figure, when they have big anime eyes, is hard because you have to paint eyes on a minifigure head without making it look absolutely horrendous. I don't know if I have any pictures of, of some of my first attempts. I'll show them on the screen if I do, but it was not a fun time to be had. It took me a very long time to get it right, only to realize that I got it wrong. So I figured I'd share some of my suffering. It ended up being better, I think. Just a better, better design anyway over there, but it just pains me that I did all that just to basically do it over again, so. I figured I'd share my some of my tales of woe with this figure. Now we're gonna move on to the actual views and some details. So in terms of details in this figure, there's there's not a lot because it's not like this or like this where you have to paint a lot a lot of detailing, a, a pretty decent amount of uh, details on the main character frame. It's pretty basic and cartoony, which was quite refreshing because it didn't take a lot of time to do except for that dang head, but there's not a lot of details, you can just, I had to, I really basically just guessed where, where this, this part on the arm would connect, because I had to line up, obviously, the two black lines over there, to make it look seamless and not have it be, like, up there or all the way down there, and luckily I shot that pretty well, other side was way easier, because it just connects the entire thing, the entire top can be painted blue, but that one was a little more challenging, but ended up coming, coming out pretty alright. I'm actually pretty dang pleased with the head sculpt, I'm not gonna lie. I actually do enjoy the head sculpt quite a bit. It was kind of difficult to make just because this kept on wilting because it's so, so heavy. But I ended up being able to prop it up enough to be able to finish it up and I think it looks pretty, pretty dang alright to be honest. And then also the other thing of course is the eyes and the mouth which this is my first time painting an actual minifigure head. It was easier because obviously it's cartoony, right? But that also came with a challenge because I had to paint all these gigantic eyes and not make it look like, you know, a giant bug person or have one eye, you know, up in the heavens and one eye down below. So it was a bit of a challenge, but it's pretty right in my opinion. 
Going to the side, there isn't much detail. There's just like, oh, look, socks. Is that a sock? I don't know, shoe or socks or whatever. I can't really remember. Again, it's been since March, so it's it's been some time. On the back, you might see some lack of detailing in the back parts, but that's just a fit with all my minifigures, because if you can see, uh, that's a bad example because I, <laughs> I painted all these ones. But like over here, I sometimes don't paint down there because I don't really care because I'm not seeing it there, so I don't really do it. But some of you may have a problem with that, but you know, you don't have to look at it all day, so I think that's fine. And then other side, not not a whole lot to see. It's nice. I had to I had to paint all of this, right? With the same color. I don't have this as a shade. I had to custom, not custom, but you know, you know what I mean, make the shade of paint. Which, then we, which means I had to do the entire thing, all the layers, including everything that had to be that color. I had to do all of that, essentially, in one go. So that was quite interesting. I mean, this entire thing probably took maybe a day when I got it right, but it took a lot more when you get it wrong. But this entire thing took a day, it wasn't that hard, especially because most of these are just like one black base color throughout one base color. It wasn't too shabby. And I think it came out pretty alright. Also, I may be lying, who knows, I tend I tend to forget things, and I made this three months ago, so... Who knows? On to the overall conclusion. Overall, this is just a really fun figure to do. I've never done the whole uh, anime hair before, with all these weird spikes, and I was like, yeah, I'll try it out. It ended up being, in my opinion, pretty, uh, pretty alright. I think I, I do enjoy how it came out quite a decent amount. It was also incredibly nice not having the head look incredibly, incredibly bad. bad, so that was that was a cool plus. Um, overall, I just enjoyed the show. Uh, you should definitely check it out on Netflix if you're if you don't mind crazy, weird like nonsense world. It was a very interesting world. Half the time I was asking what's happening, and I think I really enjoy when that happens in shows. Like it was a good what's happening, you know. I don't think that makes sense at all, but you might get what I mean. Uh, soundtrack is generally great. I have the soundtrack. My friend uh, Meme clowns on me all the time because I listen to it and he calls it Tumblr music. But Meme is also a Weezer fan, so I can disregard all of his opinions as uh, completely valueless. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm working on some new stuff, getting getting back on the grindstone. I got like a lot of things to still do that I've already done for the past three months, so I gotta play catch up. But I'm working on some new stuff, working on Overwatch stuff. I know some people. Some people really dig that. I gotta gotta start working on that, and that's basically all I have to say. In terms of you know just my social media plugins, I have an Instagram I never use, so you can follow me there. And I've been streaming my newest mock, so if you want to see me suffer in agony, you can you can go check that out. Uh, whenever I do stream again, I don't have a schedule. What do you think I am, professional? But yeah, it basically sums it up. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing with me you guys it's been kind of insane the channels really exploded over me not doing anything so that's pretty dang swell but yeah that's basically it